Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create an S3 bucket and the objects and we need to connect outside of the public network for this S3 objects and the S3 bucket. So I'm allowing my S3 bucket and the inside the objects to be internet. So it will be allowed from the public internet. So this is the AWS architecture diagram where we can access from the public network to the AWS account in a different region so i am going to create in mumbai region so for this bucket so let me show you how to achieve this so in, this is my aws account where i am in mumbai region so let me go to s3 console so let me create a bucket name it as the name today's name and my s3 bucket i'm going to create in mumbai region and there is no acls and i'm going to block all public access should be enabled and there is no versioning and default encryption i don't want to go for so here you can see that my s3 bucket has been created in mumbai region so I have created one S3 bucket in Mumbai region in one AWS account. So here there is no objects inside. So we need to enable the public access for this bucket. So let me upload some files and folders. So I have uploaded one file. So with this URL you need to browse from the internet. So now it is showing access DNN but because I need to allow the S3 bucket policy for this bucket. So for that you need to copy this policy, JSON policy for your own S3 bucket. So you need to edit the permission policy and the bucket policy for this bucket. So we'll copy the ARN. paste it and save changes so you can see here successfully edited bucket policy and there is no block public access and it should be enabled so try to fetch now so you can see here this is my public image where i can see from the outside internet let me upload some files one more file So this is where you can access your bucket objects from the outside internet. So this is where you need to connect from your own personal computer to the internet and you need to connect S3 bucket using the URL of the specific object inside any region or any in the any AWS account with the object URL you need to fetch it from the internet. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you have any queries, please post in the comment box.